Keith, we're at the Herco Christmas 2016 open house. Now, I, I've just walked past your stand and you've got this new power check system. Could you tell us a little bit more about it? Yeah, most certainly, Mark. We, uh, we have the power check system where the original design was uh, mainly for installation and tool monitoring, where you check the retention from the spindle via the pull stud or if it's a, an HSK via an internal pullback system, which is great. This is used constantly by installation engineers and just as a monitoring process. But with the what's evolved, and we've seen the requirement for with regarding transfer machines, robotic systems, and sort of FMSs, is that we needed something a little bit more high tech where we could take the reading from the machine safely, even when it's guarded. So what we've done, you can actually put the tool into the tool change carousel call it up as tool 22 or 21, and then it will, by means of a radio signal, send it to a handheld monitor, which you have there, Mark. So we can do it remotely, uh, like that, really, which, which works well. So, Keith, as an engineer, why would you need to monitor your spindle? Well, what we have, basically, Mark, within the spindle, there is, like, uh, Belleville and spring stacks, which actually pulls the tool back which uh, is critical because it maintains the TIR runout, the pullback pressure, the surface finish of the end product by means of the cutting tool. And if that diminishes, then it can be quite catastrophic to scrappage, quality, and the condition of the spindle. So with this device, we, it's like perpetual monitoring, say two or three times a day. And if it drops below a certain sort of pullback pressure, then it indicates that we have problems. Obviously not with a new machine such as Herco, it's, uh, you know, that's fine, but over a long period of time, things do diminish. And, and obviously that you, you've got this handheld reader, which obviously the engineer can actually, you know, see what's happening live effectively, but can this work on any machine tool? Indeed, yes. Uh, the, uh, as you'll see with this, it's a, a short uh, overhang. So we've made that different to this where it will actually go through the machine carousel without any sort of problem. So, you know, it is, it is there to be in the machine all the time. Uh, so you can get continuous monitoring effectively? Indeed, yes, yeah. Uh, with this device, it's interchangeable on the back end. But with this, we've made it dedicated to the actual taper. So we've got a shorter overhang, it's ergonomic, it allows to go through the tool chains quite easily. And your market, is it really any subcontractor, any OEM that is using a machine tool? Yes, yes, sorry. Yeah, it's uh, automotive, uh, aircraft industry, subcontract, anywhere where quality and, you know, the management of the machine is uh, paramount, really. So really saving money for the customer at the end of the day? Indeed, yes. And that's, uh, that's the optimum, you know, objective, really, yes. Yeah. Well, Keith, thanks very much for your time. Thank you, Mark. Very much appreciated.